welcome to my channel. I'm Courtney and I hope you're doing so very well. So today I am coming at you with a special video. I am going to paint my own Midori cover. The lovely Nini Nu, who is an Australian artist and Etsy seller, sent this beautiful paint me cover to me to try out and to see how I like it and I decided that I would make a video for it because you know my YouTube channel needs content as well. Now this beautiful Midori or Faux Dory is made with pre-primed canvas and beautiful Forest Friends fabric inside. She does have other patterns in her store as well and if you're not a fan of the Paint Me she does have beautiful fabric ones as well. I will leave the link down below. So I decided that I was going to do one of my whimsy girls on the front cover. I decided that this was going to be a gift for my niece as last year my little teacup humans got some um, Midori style notebooks for Christmas and my niece was amazed by them and I felt so bad that I didn't even think to get her one. So this year she is getting one made by auntie. So I'm just using a normal graphite pencil of course neon pink and an eraser I did erase the first pattern because I wasn't quite happy and that is the beauty of this if you make a mistake it's just like paper you can erase so I will keep chatting every now and again if something is happening I am using a black sharpie and you can use all the sorts of things that you would use on canvas I work with the sharpie marker and an acrylic acrylic paint which you'll see later on I also use um, a charcoal pencil, I think, but this is just a big chunky black Sharpie marker. It's easy for me to color in precisely with the stripes on her antlers. So I decided to do that instead of painting them because my painting skills are not that awesome, but I did give this a red hot go. Once I was happy with her antlers, it was time to actually fill my paint pans with some paint. So I grabbed my acrylic paint. I have no preference. As you see, I have $2 shop paints and I have fancy pants paint. So acrylic paints are still something that I am reacquainting myself with. And I thought this was a great little project to get going and try my hand at. I've been painting a little bit on the side and for Patreon, but I thought it was time to do a painting video for you guys and what better way to show off Nin's beautiful covers than to paint one on camera. Um, I think this is an awesome Christmas gift and I'm not just saying that, I am actually giving it to someone for Christmas. I think if you have friends that you want to give them something special or you've got kids, I think I would love to give one of these to my daughter because she saw this once it was finished and wanted one for herself. It's a great way to give the Midori style traveler's notebook a go and to really customize it to your liking. You could have someone else paint it for you or you could just have a really cute go and paint it yourself. I'm just adding two tones of blue to her hair to try and get some highlights going. This girl has popped up in my journals constantly throughout my few years of creating her and I just decided that I wanted her on the front of a cover as well. At first I didn't realize that I was going to be giving this to my niece and I was painting it for myself and this blue head girl is one of my favorite things to paint. I really love painting her and when I was done it dawned on me that this would be the absolute perfect gift from my niece. She is an aspiring artist and is going to surpass me very very quickly. Her skills at her age at the moment is mind-blowing so I thought this was a lovely little gift to give to her with some of my art because she loves all my quirky weird creatures and things and she loves animals so the fact that there's forest animals fabric on the inside it was just a match made in heaven and I'm so excited to put it away for her for Christmas I'm gonna fill it up with notebooks and I know that she will be ecstatic to unwrap this on Christmas Day so I'm just adding some giant red polka dots to her t-shirt. The girl that I paint in all my journals has wonky shoulders and giant polka dots on her t-shirt. Nothing has changed with this girl, just the medium in which I paint her. 
Um, so I'm using a black Prismacolor pencil just to add some definition to sections of her face, her lips. She does look a bit chipmunk at the moment, but I promise you it does get better. There is a lot of layering with this face and because I'm not so used to working on canvas, it was a little bit of a learning curve, but as I went and kept painting and painting, I got a feel for how the canvas worked with the paints and how things, how the paints merged together and mixed. So I got it together in the end. She looks like she's got a little moustache under her nose. Actually, she looks like a deer at the moment. I should have left her that way, but I do really love the finished product. It is bright. The canvas takes color beautifully and you will see it when it's finished. It is so vibrant and the colors on camera are not diluted at all. They are true to form. So this canvas is stellar. It's probably one of the best canvases I've worked on and I have worked on a various amounts of canvases in my artistic life. So it is a lovely. It wouldn't be a Courtney creation without neon pink cheeks. Normally I do my big poppy colored circles, but today I am doing a little bit of a softer version with the neon pink. And now I am just going back in with my Sharpie and giving the antlers some definition with the outline. I was going to use a thinner Sharpie, but I couldn't find it and I was too lazy to go look. So I was just really, really soft handed with my chunky one and that gave her antlers some really nice shape and it looks a lot better now that they've all been filled in properly. And then we are going to, wait for it, ah, that's right. I was going to add white to some of them and some of them I do, but in the end I left it. So I'm putting some little highlights in her eyes. I do do this quite a few times and some nose highlighting neck highlighting and then pulling in some more shading. I shaded over and over and over again just so I could get what I wanted and what I liked. Um, that is the beauty of acrylic paint. You can shade and shade and shade and if you don't like it you can paint on over it and change it all over again. And that is the beauty with this. If you think that you've made a mistake you can repaint over it. Nothing is set in stone. That should be my mantra for this channel. I say it constantly. Absolutely nothing is set in stone. If you don't like what you've created, gesso over it, start again, and keep going until you're happy. That way you get exactly what you want. And even here, when I'm looking at the red that I added, I added way too much, and now she looks like she's crying tears of blood. But we do change it, I promise. You're all saying, fix it, Connie, fix it. I am. I will. She won't look this horrifying in the end. The beauty of acrylic paint is everything can be changed with just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I was waiting for her face to dry before I tried again with some added I decided that I was gonna paint the background bright yellow and this is because I want it to be a really happy cover and by this point I had realized that I was gonna give it to my niece so I wanted to make it something that was bright and playful and inspiring and yellow is one of the colors I turn to when I'm needing a pick-me-up and so I decided to make the background a really really bright yellow and I was gonna add other things things to it but I wanted her to be the focal point so I do add the yellow and I also add some neon pink down in the corners to warm things up so it's kind of like a little bit of ombre but not quite really but it's just you can see it's subtle the neon pink gives a nice subtle look and I'm just adding more highlights to her hair and this is as bright as it really is in real life. Like this canvas is so amazing. It even surprised me with how bright you can get your colors. It just laps up that acrylic paint so beautifully and that yellow looked amazing which is another reason why I didn't put anything else on it except for some pink polka dots near her antlers in the end 
but I think Nin has done an amazing job with these covers and I was really, really worried that I wasn't going to like it. I am a leather journal cover girl and when she asked me to do a video for her, I was kind of like, eh. Plus my acrylic skills were lacking, but I made sure I got some practice in before I did this video for you guys. Um, and she has changed my mind. I really, really love the way that it has turned out and I love how bright and vibrant it is. It's like the epitome of my art. I am always trying to go for maximum color and this is the perfect journal for that. And I am just dyeing the elastic. So you can do this too with a bit of acrylic paint. You can change the elastic color to whatever you heart, your heart desires. And of course I went with neon pink, even though it's going to my niece, she still needs some neon pink in her life. And I'm just using a pink um, Sharpie marker to add some polka dots to the tops of the antlers. And that is it. If you would like to get yourself a Paint Me Midori cover, I have a discount code for you guys. Little Ink Love will get you 10% off her entire store. This is a great Christmas gift for anybody. And if you're worried about the whole fact that you can paint it, she does have fabric covers, including Frida ones, which are adorable. She also has pencil pouches for your Midoris as well. She is an awesome lady and has just launched her YouTube as well. Her life journals are stunning and if you want to check her out I will leave all her details right on screen for you. Have a wonderful day guys and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye! So I thought that I would work randomly throughout my journal on pages that I feel just are not done. And because I'm nearing the end of my insert, I don't want to have, I don't want to finish and then look back and go, well, it's not really complete. And that will like play on my head before I can like,